Hey guys, just a quick boomer vlog today. So I decided to take today off. I normally don't go, you know, two days in a row without making video content. That's kind of an unusual thing for me. But I woke up this morning, woke up around 8 a.m. And I got up and I started getting ready, getting dressed to go to the gym and work out and then come up here to the office and make some video content. And I realized something. I didn't want to do any of that today, so what I decided to do was uh, just take a day off and relax. So, you know, I'm not going to the gym and working out. I did come up here to the office to check on some stuff, but I'm not doing any kind of video content today, which I know you guys are going to say, well, if you're not doing any video content, why bother with the, the boomer vlog, right? Well, I, I thought, you know, I had some some thoughts on this about slowing down and relaxing. So I thought I'd capture a little bit of this on camera. I know it's kind of a weird video, right? I'm going to make a video about me taking the day off and not making any video. I mean, who the hell makes a video about not making videos, right? But that's the kind of content you guys get on this channel because most channels, obviously, they make videos about something. You know, it's very few people that can actually make videos about nothing. And that's kind of what I'm making a video about today. Although I wouldn't say it's about nothing. I, I do want to talk about why it's important sometimes to actually slow down in your work. So I've been trying to slow down a bit more these days because I've always had this kind of issue where I was always trying to do as much work as possible. I was always trying to accomplish as much as quickly as possible to get ahead in life. And, you know, this has served me well because, you know, I, I did well in school and, and you know, uh, K through 12 and then at the university level, I've done well in jobs. I typically get promoted very fast. You know, people see that you work hard. You know, typically you rise quickly within a company. And, of course, working hard has helped me, you know, in my career as a YouTube content creator, right? And But here's the thing. It does weigh down on you. It does cause some issues. And I think one of the biggest reasons why now I'm trying to slow down a little bit more is when I recognize that I'm not operating at 100% either physically or mentally, you know, just take some time off, just relax, just go, you know, take a break. Even if it's just for a couple of hours, take a break. It's because, you know, less stress. And I think that's very important. A lot of people, yeah, they, they're okay with stress when they're, they're younger, but as you get older, especially if you've been stressing yourself out constantly the way I have been doing pretty much my whole life. You know, it's very important to just take some time every now and then. Just take a break. And you realize the advantages of it because I've this is something, you know, I would never have admitted when I was younger. But now I can see the error of my ways because now I know that when I take my time in work instead of just rushing through things, I, I tend to make better judgments, right? I, I tend to make far less mistakes and the decisions I make tend to be much better decisions than when I was just constantly working as quickly as possible trying to get things done. You know, it's like that old saying, patience is a virtue. And, and that's absolutely true. If you take time, you know, take time to actually think things out, you make better decisions. You make more rational decisions. When you rush, you're actually not interested in making the best decision. When you're rushing through something, you're just trying to make a decision as quickly as possible. Whether it's right or wrong, you don't really care, right? You just, you're just trying to get it done because in your mind, you're thinking just getting this done and moving on to the next test is the way forward rather than actually making sure that every decision you make is the correct one. And what I've learned since starting the YouTube channel is I, I've got my GitLab and I get bugs and issues filed on my GitLab for my doc files and for DTOS and for my DM scripts programs and, and things like that. And I, I get all of these bug reports. And you know, of course I get emails occasionally too, support requests through emails, social media, things like that. And one of the things I've learned is don't respond to any of that stuff, or at least don't respond to it immediately. What I've learned is anything that requires a response from you, give it a little time, right? If somebody files a bug on your GitHub or GitLab about anything, well, don't rush to go and, and try to help them solve that problem because I've learned like nine times out of ten, these people, either the bug that they filed isn't really a bug, or it is a bug, but they'll solve the problem on their own if you give them a little time. By you rushing to respond to them, in many ways, you're creating unnecessary work for yourself because they didn't they didn't need you. Right? They, they didn't need you at all. And so it's one of these weird things. I, this is something, again, I, I didn't know a couple of years ago, but I've kind of learned is, hey, when these people, you know, 
on any kind of support form or whatever it happens to be, anybody that asks for a support kind of question, don't rush to help them out. You know, give it a little time. I'm not saying take two weeks to respond to them, but don't respond to them within five minutes of that email. So it's just, you know, some of the tidbits I've learned over the years, and this is not just from working as a, a video content creator, even in my professional life before YouTube, uh, working as a manager at large retail companies and, and things like that, you know, I noticed that I was always preoccupied getting the, the job done, getting a task done because I'm thinking that was going to make me rise in the company. I was going to get promoted and make more money and all of this. And one of the things that now I realize is, you know, I never actually listen to anybody. You know, one of the things is I'm so preoccupied when I, when I have a task to do it, I am laser focused on that task and it has to absolutely get done right now. And don't even ask me to do another task while I'm working on that task. I have to do that single task and I'm not going to listen to anybody that's trying to talk to me. I don't listen to coworkers. I don't listen to customers, clients, because I'm focused on the task. And that is not the right way to be because I think in many ways, a lot of my coworkers and in many cases, customers <laughs> probably thought, hey, that guy is a complete a-hole because he doesn't even look like he's he's listening to me right now. I'm trying to have a conversation with this guy and he looks like all he's thinking about right now is doing something else other than listening to what I have to say. And they were right. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. And I know that probably caused me a lot of problems in my professional career. And if you guys are like this, it's causing you problems in your professional career as well. In many cases, my need to rush through things and constantly be working, I know it caused me to make a lot more mistakes. One of the things when you slow down, you know, just take some time to think about things you make far fewer mistakes. And naturally, you're going to make fewer mistakes because you're not working as fast. Obviously, the person working faster has time to make more mistakes because he's doing more stuff. But even just that by itself, you know, slowing down, you make fewer mistakes, but you also, the mistakes you make are not as big, right? Because you had time to think things through properly. Typically, the mistakes you do make, they're small mistakes. They're far easier to correct than the guy that was just half-assing, rushing to get something done. You know, typically the mistakes that person makes, they're going to be gigantic mistakes that end up making that person have to do double the work that they were originally going to do if they would have just taken a little time to think things through and actually plan things appropriately. I mean, it's almost counterintuitive. It's, it's almost an oxymoron when you think about it, but it's true. When you slow down, you know, you, you're actually creating less work for yourself. When you rush, you actually are creating more work for yourself. So that's, uh, that's my boomer vlog for the day. So that's my, my thoughts on slowing down in your work. Again, I think it's a very important topic. That's why I wanted to just make this quick video on my phone today. For me, I, I'm done for the day. I, I got up this morning, uh, around eight o'clock this morning, and I, I just decided I, I didn't feel like doing anything today. So drink a couple of cups of coffee and I watch some YouTube videos, not anything Linux related or tech related because that's not fun. That's, that's part of work, right? <laughs> My work, uh, just fun, silly YouTube videos, you know, things that are not tech related at all. And that was really, really nice. And then I went up to the office here. I got up here to the office, checked on some emails and things and you know, nothing that was really work. You know, and then I wanted to relax here while I was at the office. So it was around lunchtime. I went ahead and I ordered some lamb biryani and some uh, spinach doll from a local Indian restaurant through DoorDash. And it was a, a rather nice meal. And I'm just, uh, I think I'm about to wrap it up here. I'm going to turn out the lights and, and head home. And then when I get home, I don't know, I may veg out on the couch and watch some Netflix. Heck, I may even game. I, I may fire up Zero AD when I get home and play a little Zero AD this evening. Anyway, take care, guys. Peace.